And welcome back to everybody's favorite daytime talk show, What the Hell is Going On Right Now? Today, we have a very special guest, Captain Captain. I think everybody should be really excited about this. Direct from Palm Springs, we have so many questions, and yet, here we are. Let's go. Everybody, please welcome to the show, Captain Kaftan. Well, howdy, Quilton Cowboy. How you doing? So happy to be here. You know, I've heard a lot about your show, and I'm just really pleased to be here. It's been a real ride, I'll tell you. This entire year, nuts, okay? So, you probably have some questions. Let's go. Seriously, what the hell is going on? Shh, I think that's why the show is called What the Hell is Going On? Funny you should ask, it all really started just kind of as a lark, right? I kind of put out on social media like, I don't know, who wants to wear a caftan? And suddenly, all of our non-binary friends were like, me, 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 me. Before you know it, I had 30 orders and I couldn't barely even keep up, you know? It's just so crazy because who doesn't want to wear a caftan, especially in Palm Springs where it's literally 122 degrees on Friday. Nobody can survive that. So what we're going to do instead is we're all going to be essentially getting naked and then wear a very light caftan on top of it. I will show you. Some of the benefits of wearing a caftan are such. For those days where you just have to Angelina Jolie the leg. Not to mention that there's sometimes you just want to, I don't know, maybe throw your skirt up over your head. Did I not tell you 2020 was about to get weird? But allow me to share with you some of my photo shoots that I've done literally worldwide. First it was Milan, and then it was Paris, and then, oh, Fiji, that was a really fun one. But above and beyond everything, I'm just really happy to be here in the United States, bringing my message of love and peace for all, right? To everyone, including our non-binary friends, yay! Wow, you really have done a lot. That's quite amazing. Those photos, my God. Is that something you do regularly? Really? Here we go. Check it before you wreck it. I know, I just can't, I just can't. Anyhow, thanks so much for having me. I really appreciate it. I think our message of love and peace for all, regardless of identity, should be freedom, freedom for all. And just wear a caftan and get those cares out of your way. Well, people, bear with me. I promise there's some sewing <laughs> after all this madness. <laughs> But why I originally started this whole thing is because, um, well, two things. First of all, I did have a bunch of people kind of like, I just put it out there on Facebook. Hey, you know, it'd be fun. I bet I could do one of these because I've never really done fashion clothes before. But it couldn't be <laughs> easier, right? There's very little sewing to it. And <laughs> then like all these people, like mostly guys, were all like, yeah, I want one poolside. That sounds great. We'll have captain parties and, you know, whatever. And they were so into it. And I'm like, awesome. So I started like making them. And it's really been fun, and I'm happy to show you how uh, I kind of essentially came up with a pattern. I didn't have a pattern. I just made it up, right? It's no more difficult than making a ghost costume for Halloween for kids where you just cut the hole and put the sheet over. <laughs> That's pretty much it. But yeah, I was having this conversation uh, with uh, a woman I know from Beverly Hills, and uh, we were discussing like non-binary or and trans uh, people, right? And she was like, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. And I was like, maybe it's not for you to get. <laughs> like maybe it's just about you getting out of the way to allow people to, you know, live their truth as she's sitting there with her fake tits and her fake eyelashes and all this makeup on and like all her plastic surgery that she had and my husband does your hair so I know that's fake. <laughs> but it was just a real eye-opener to me like how some people think. They're like, I don't get it so I'm not gonna sign off on it. 
Well, I don't get you and all of your business going on here that's like just living a lie, you know? And so you're gonna get in the way of somebody else living their truth because you wanna live your lie? <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, enough of this. Um, yeah, let's talk about this because it is really easy. And if you ever wanted to, you know, go into clothes, and if you haven't done clothes before, oh my gosh, like I said, this is the simplest thing to do in the world, okay? So essentially, I'm buying about four yards of fabric. That's more than enough for a very tall guy, okay? You don't need that much. But what you do need to do is essentially measure yourself from your shoulder and then to the length that you want it. I suggest one of two lengths, okay? So either just above the ankles or just above the knees, right? And then what you do is you essentially, yeah, just cut a hole in the middle. I'm doing about, um, and again, I'm making most of these for guys. Um, so I'm doing about 12 and a half inches across. That's a lot, okay? So you're probably gonna take it, wanna take it down to more like nine if you're doing it for um, a smaller lady, okay? And then uh, I do a half inch off the back, right? So I just cut the cross, right? Right across uh, there. And actually, let me show you how to do it. It's, it's super simple. Okay, so I have my fabric here, right? And I have about three yards of this one. So it's gonna be a shorter version just to above the knee. Right? So then you just hold it salvage to salvage, right? Because it's essentially going to be, <laughs> hello, <laughs> like this. But then you're just going to cut the neck out of it across the middle, right? Okay, so then what I do is take it again. I'm holding it salvage to salvage. I'm going to line it up, right? I'm just showing you real quick, so it's not going to be exact, but it'll be good enough, okay? So I have it here, salvage to salvage, right? And then you cut out the middle and then you turn the edge on the back and then create your V depending on how uh, low you want it to come on the body, right? I like it to a bow right here. You might not like it that plunging. Keep in mind, it will feel like it's bigger, right, when it's cut. So start higher and then come down lower, okay? So that's all I do for that. And then, right, so I have the cut here and then I cut it down here and then I turn those all over and sew them down. I'll also do the same on the sides. I'll then measure, I'm doing about uh, 12 to 16 inches for the sleeve, right? So here to here. The secret that I'm finding is that you wanna draw a diagonal line, right? From here down to the point. So what I'll do on both sides is I'll kind of figure out, okay, how much width do I want to cross here, right? And I'm coming in around uh, 24 or so, right? And so I'll take it from the edge of the shoulders down to 24, right? And then I'll measure from here to here and then sew for 10 inches and then it allows for the slits on the leg, right? I find that 10 inches from the rib cage to the waist is enough. It also, also allows you to put in a pocket there if you want which I think is really cool, okay? So I'm gonna do this one slowly, and you can just watch me do it, okay? Step one, lay it out, exactly perfect. Step two, fold it in half, right? So that you can find the exact center, <clears throat> right? So now that I've folded that in half that way, I know where exactly the center of this is, right? So I folded this over, I've identified the center here. Now, I'm gonna measure it. Like I told you, I'm doing 12 and a half inches. Let me just get my ruler. Okay, so now that I've folded it in half, I have to be mindful that I'm cutting half the amount, right? So I don't wanna cut 12 and a half because it's folded in half, right? So I wanna do six and a quarter, and all I'm gonna do is just barely cut off just the top of this, just the fold, right? Down to my edge of my, basically my zero mark on my ruler, All right? So this is six and a quarter, correct? And I'm just gonna go down to zero, okay? And cut that off there, All right? So now I essentially have the neck hole done and I can open it back up, okay? Okay, now I open it back up, right? Just like this, and I have my neck hole here done. Okay, so I'm gonna cut down just a half an inch on the back side, and then what's gonna be the front where the V-neck is, I'm going to cut down um, a few inches 
Uh, I'm going to measure it first. Okay, so for me, and again, I'm probably bigger than most of you who are going to be making it. Um, <clears throat> so for me, it's 12 and a half across, and then it's 10 inches from the top to the bottom. All right, so when I'm looking at my fabric, please hold. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to take this down. Now, I'm going to undercut this just a little bit because this material is stretchy, right? And so I'm going to find out where the center is, which is right here, and then go down 10 inches, okay? Okay, so I measured this, I found the center of this, and now that's essentially my neck, right? And so I'm just going to fold it like this and then cut right along this fold. Easy enough, right? So I have these two pieces, I just open them up at exactly kind of the same angle and then just cut this part off right along where that fold is, okay? So do that on both sides. Cut out the back, like I said, by half an inch. And then that's essentially it for your neck. Now, of course, we have to finish this. We don't want it to be raw edge, but just cut this out of there. And right, you can already start to see it taking shape. All right, cut this back just the tiniest bit. All right, the next step you're gonna to wanna to do is cut off the salvage, right? Because you don't want that on there. However, there is a lot of opportunity within the salvage of some fashion fabrics that you might want to look at, okay? For example, when I cut this off, right, it gave me this really beautiful edge to it that I absolutely want to incorporate, right? It's just kind of like, it's kind of undone here. It has this beautiful stripe here. So I'm actually thinking about using this, right, as my trim in and around here, either facing this way or facing this way, and same thing, doing the same detail along the sleeve, which will just finish that off really nicely, I think, okay? So watch for that. If there's an opportunity along the salvage, make sure that you do as long of a cut as possible so that you have as much material to work with. Okay, so you can see here, right? We've done the neck, right, essentially. Now, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is identify at the bottom, right, not only how long do you want it to go, but what's the width of this, right? So again, for me, I'm, I'm using about 24 inches, all right? But measure what's comfortable for you. You can always cut it down smaller, okay? So start bigger, you can always keep cutting it down. And then you simply just make a diagonal line from this corner here down to your corner down here, right? So that's it. It's essentially a diagonal line from the two corners straight down to your 24 inches. From there, you're gonna want to leave about, I don't know, maybe 12 inches here, depending on your body, right? It should come to right about your rib cage. And then from there, you just sew, for me, I'm sewing 10 inches, right? 10 inches from here to here. This gives you your sleeve, right? This gives you your sleeve, sew 10 inches, the rest is open for the slit of the leg. Then you're just gonna to wanna to turn, roll your edges, finish the sleeve, finish along the slit, finish along the bottom, finish around the neck. That's it. <laughs> Choking. Um, let's look at the side, uh, just how I'm gonna finish this one, okay? So you can watch, you're gonna watch me do it so step by step. Addressing the edge of it, of course I wanna cut off the salvage, right? Easy enough because you don't want this saying Joanne along the self, unless we're making it for somebody named Joanne. <laughs> we're not. Okay, so we're gonna do this and we're just gonna cut off the salvage and away we go. Now, I'm also having to pay attention to the salvage of this and the way that it's printed because on this side, I only have about three quarters of an inch before the stripe starts and that is not so on the other side, okay? So I have to be mindful of where is my center versus where is the center of the printing, right? And then additionally, like how much do I have here? Let me show the other side. Okay, so you saw what it was on the other side. On this side, look, isn't this dumb? Like, 
there's so much between the edge and the first big stripe, right? But what it does have is this really cool fine stripe on this side that it didn't have on the other side. So I'm gonna to wanna to keep this stripe, this tiny stripe on the selvage intact to be able to use for uh, edging and, and things like that um, as I go along. Okay, so uh, I have this here. I'm gonna measure three quarters of an inch because that's what it is on the other side before this big stripe starts, all right? Okay, we are going to want to identify the bottom next, okay? Before we really um, get into the sleeve, we want to identify how wide we want the bottom. Now, this is going to be 40 inches, right, from top to bottom. Okay, now I have to determine across the bottom how long I wanna make that. I think I'm gonna make it about 30 inches because it is a short one. On a longer one, I make it about 24. Oh my God, I'm sweating to death doing this. That's okay. Um, so I know I wanna make it about 30 inches. Again, start too wide, you can always cut it down. So I'm gonna put my 15 inch mark right on this. The stripes are really helping me out. 15 inches to either side. I know it's going to be about here. I'm gonna mark that on both sides and then this is the fun part essentially you just draw a, a diagonal right okay so i have my 30 inches made here right I'm, I'm clear on that again the stripe should be even why is this not even hold on oh operator error 15 inches one two hello where's 15 oh there it is okay Okay, so I have, right, my 30 inches across the bottom. Again, I can cut it down later. I'm just going to start a little wide. So the next thing you're going to want to do is identify this corner up here, right? This corner to this pin. Oh, you're not really seeing it. Hold on. All right, so then you go from this corner, right, to this pin diagonally. All right, so you just cut that. And then again, we already have our 30 inches measured here. Again, it would go down to 24 if it was a longer to the ankle version. And I'm just going to get my ruler and measure this on a diagonal from here to here and then cut that off. All right. Okay, it's starting to take shape. Again, I've cut the sides, I've cut the neck. Now the measurements for me here are gonna be 16, 10, and then all the way to the bottom. So 16 inches from this corner down to here is the armhole. And I'm just gonna mark that. And then from there, after the 16 inches, I'm going to sew 10 inches. All right, mark it again with another pin. Ugh, that one's bent. Okay. And this is where you'd put the pocket in this 10 inches here, okay? Uh, if you so want one. And then from here down is just open. That's the leg slit, okay? So then I'm going to take it to the machine, obviously turning it inside out first. And sew that 10 inches, finish all the raw edges, the bottom the sides, the neck, the armholes, all that. Okay, 16 inches on this side, and then mark that. Ooh, this is wearing me out today. Seriously, it was 122 on Friday. Ooh, that was like living in an oven. Our air conditioner, oh my gosh, poor thing. Never mind our electric bill. Ha! Okay, and mark that so now I know where my 10 inches is to be sewn. Okay, so I'm going to turn that inside out. I'm going to do the sewing and then it'll be done. And it's just that easy. Like, <laughs> look, right? It's just perfect for like around the pool or whatever, right? Because it's totally got these big leg slits, right? And then these big flowy arms, 
right? And it just couldn't be any easier to make than that. Now, mind you, I am not accessorized for this outfit correctly, although I did have my bright pink uh, bathing suit on earlier. <laughs> Anyways, I, uh, I hope that you can make it. It's super fun and uh, super, super easy. So enjoy. Talk to you soon. Bye.